wanted to cover a, a quick topic on um, printing and templates um, in the roadway module of Lighting Reality. Um, if you, um, when you go to print preview um, a file, whether you're going to print it to PDF or whether you're going to print it to um, a paper print, it doesn't much matter. Um, there is a, a default template that's set up within each of the, the files that you have. Um, we can modify that template and we always recommend that you, um, you print preview the reports before. Um, one of the areas that we uh, we often get problems with um, is um, just covering it whilst we're on this topic is the default information that appears in lighting reality that is uh, in the options um, and this information here is often not edited by the users um, and as a result we get phone calls from people saying you've done a lighting design can you alter it and so on and we have to explain to them that we actually prepare the software we don't actually uh, we haven't actually done the lighting design so um, if I could ask you to please take a look at that and this here make any changes as necessary select save modify the logo as you see fit uh, and so on but um, when we um, print preview this um, we get uh, the title page we get um, a report page a layout page and uh, energy calculations have been ticked here so they've been included uh, and so on now I often find that these aren't quite the way that I like to prepare the report so um, we can go into report setup and we can modify this to uh, include whatever it is that we want so um, in this case we've done an illuminance calculation so I'm going to go with the EN illum um, option um, so what I want to do is include and I'll show you as we're going along here um, we've got a title page which has got the designer's name um, the information about your company and the, lo the location where your uh, file is staved um, a, a summary page uh, which has various bits of information about the design the, the grids you've used, the lantern, the arrangement the, um, the quality figures and a little uh, diagram as well energy indicators and um, a polar curve. Now instead of having the polar curve um, we could um, un we can have include a Cartesian curve or we could include the LCS diagram or you can include all of them if you wanted to um, so you get the polar curve, the Cartesian curve or the LCS diagram. Um, generally I find that people prefer one or the other. Um, happy with the polar curve. I, I think the LCS diagram is, is quite a useful thing. It comes out of the um, one of the IES standards in uh, in America, um, but um, I think that's quite a useful useful uh, diagram. Um, so page uh, five in this case we've set up as um, the summary, which is the quality figures at the bottom here, the points, which I find a bit annoying, so I'm going to turn those off, or maybe we can leave them on, and. Uh, have the results next to those. Um, the next page is uh, the grayscale and um, I'm going to include the summary figures for that as well but I'm going to turn the points off and then lastly um, I'm going to include the uh, quality figures at the bottom, turn the points off um, but I'm going to include the contours um, and perhaps the points um, and turn that off there. So you can see um, that's how we've set that up and, and we can go through and save that and then call that um, my illuminance layout um, and so on select save and then as you can see it's appeared in the top toolbar up here it's also appeared over here so um, we can just go to that and, and, and use that straight away next time we want to print um, when we do um, luminance calculations um, we um, there's um, a couple, we, we we want very much of a, a similar thing um, in terms of um, a title page, the uh, layout page, and um, energy calculations, polar curve, and then we have um, one page for each of the um, observers. And again, as before, um, you can um, use the uh, one of the templates. Um, in this case we get uh, one grid for each of the observer lanes because obviously you can have up to seven lanes and then also the qualifying um, 
uh, calculation which tells you or which shows you uh, which one of the quality figures is the dictating criteria or the lowest for the majority or the highest for threshold increment um, and so on and so forth so and as before we can include uh, polar curve Cartesian uh, and so on um, if you've used the dim facility we can include that if you want to include the um, the TR28 uh, test grid uh, if you need to go out and measure it then you can use that as well and lastly if you've included um, things in the comparison table then you can um, include that as well so again we can go through and uh, edit that report we can then select save um, we have two or three um, default ones EN short EN long we have um, ME class and um, ME class with veiling luminance which is obviously something I've set up for some reason um, and if we look at the report setup you can see that I get um, the luminance uh, and veiling luminance included uh, and we just by clicking this option here we can include um, other bits of information as well so possibly you might want to include horizontal illuminance um, as well so you would get polar curve luminance veiling luminance and horizontal illuminance as well so you again you can um, do a save as save that as my my luminance template. Um, one last thing whilst we're talking about saving um, if you um, we, do, we don't normally recommend that you use you over save any of the existing classes that are the existing templates that are here um, the reason for that is is that when we um, when you update the program it is often it is common for these um, to be replaced and therefore if you've made changes to it that would obviously be um, overwritten by the installation of a new version so um so use your own um imagination to um to to choose um a a grid name a template name and that sort of thing thank you very much for listening um if you have any uh, questions or topics you want me to cover please drop an email to support at lightingreality.com or tweet me at nicksmith1246 thank you very much